this week on Common Sense. Is the cure more effective when it is offered by the same hand that dispenses the malady? Are Rhode Island legislators under any obligation to use logic in crafting new laws? Or are they just kidding all of us? Senate Bill 720 intended uh, to very narrowly define the licensing procedures for sale of any non-tobacco or nicotine product. Senator Miller, the bill's sole sponsor, has succeeded in creating a tangled web of regulation that makes this act more laugh than law. This legal magnum opus requires anyone selling non-tobacco nicotine delivery systems to purchase an annual per per uh, permit to do so from the state. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Sellers of these smoking cessation products must also, by law, offer cigarettes at the same location. Selling cigarettes requires yet another annual state license, and that seems to be the only point. In return for the $25 per year per location dip of the beak for the state treasury, Senator Miller eliminates the offices of physicians and caregivers engaged in stop smoking counseling from offering devices uh, or consumables associated with these alternatives. Better yet, the bill effectively prohibits drugstores from dispensing prescription nicotine chewing gum unless they also sell cigarettes. CVS is just the tip of the iceberg in the current move to stop selling cancer sticks at pharmacies. In the blind pursuit of ever more income to squander, our state senate has allowed this dog loose. Are you kidding me? Join us on Verizon Channel 34 or Cox Channel 15. Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on Facebook at Common Sense and on Twitter at, at Common Sense RI.